Hello everybody, my name is Tony and welcome to Roldas Details. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make your own extension cord uh, for your generator. Uh, sometimes we have a generator with a 30 amp uh, female plug, which is like the receptacle that came with the, uh, with the generator. Normally we have one like this and then we have the other one, the round one, right? So, what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna do a, a extension cord for that receptacle. And also we're gonna set two receptacles and the extension is gonna be 13 feet long. Uh, and this is gonna be for a mobile detail setup. Uh, a friend of mine, he contacted me um, and uh, pretty much he wants me to build one of these ones for him. So we're gonna do it and then we're gonna ship it to Pennsylvania. Yes, to Pennsylvania. So. Uh, the things that we're gonna need is, like I said, two receptacles, this male plug, and the SO core. This is gonna be 10 2 because it's a 30 amp, so we're gonna use size is gonna be number 10. We're gonna need a 4x4 square box, and this is gonna be our cover, you know, for the receptacles. Uh, normally, we don't, we don't use this right here. So we can simply take it off like this. But now, let me finish this. And what is uh, very important, guys, uh, to do this before we start doing it, anything else, I already started wrong, but we're gonna wear uh, gloves in order to uh, do this uh, because we're gonna be using a knife and some uh, sharp uh, tools, so. All right, so since we already got this, um, sometimes we might, depends on what type of receptacle you're gonna use, uh, you might gonna need the uh, stake ounce, which is this this little guy over here. Uh, you can put it right here, tighten them up. But in this case, I don't know if you guys can see, you can place the wire right there, okay? So we're not gonna use this ones. There's two ways to do it, uh, you can use wire nuts to make like a, like a pigtails and hit, you know, the receptacle. Or you can jump from one side to another, like in this case, as you guys can see, we have this, this side over here, which is the silver, um, silver bolt. And on the other side, you got the gold. On this side is where the hat goes. And on this side is where you neutral and ground on this one here. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make like a little pigtails and we're gonna jump from one end to the other one. So let's do it. The tools that we're gonna use is gonna be a screwdriver. We're gonna use these pliers right here, which it came with the strippers. This is the uh, uh, crimper and cutters. So a knife, which also clean tool, uh, make sure it's sharp <laughs> in order to cut this. We're gonna use scissors and pretty much that's it. Uh, now let's move on to this over here. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna knock this hole, okay? Uh, let's do this one here. Uh, put this on the side Like I said, we don't need these little guys over here. So we're gonna remove them All right, on this little bag. I have all kind of stuff <laughs> you guys can see like wire nuts a lot of stuff. So right now I'm looking for one of these ones, which is the uh, CGB is what we call this All right, so like I said, we're going to try to strip this, maybe about right there, I would say, should be enough. You guys got to be careful, make sure you know, you're not going too deep because you can cut the, the wires. Make sure that you guys see 
this you guys see that then you go easy that way you're not gonna cut the wires because we don't want that all right now we can use scissors and and this is when we're gonna use the CGB. I forgot to mention the channel X. And now, here is when we're gonna be using the strippers. You don't wanna strip too much. Just like that. Like I mentioned, the gold screw is for your hat. The silver is for your neutral. And this one here obviously is for your um, crown. Forgot to mention this little guy over here. You guys can find this one also in Home Depot. Um. And we're gonna touch this one with this one and two more. All right, from this point, we're gonna do voiceover because uh, the audio was kind of bad. So what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna from this, from the same ex, uh, ESO cord, we're gonna get some more wires in order to make, you know, the like the pigtails, and we're gonna cut two of them in order to make two grounds, uh, one for the for each receptacle, and also we have the ground, you know, coming from the generator, and the one is attached to the box. So we're gonna make sure to uh, do a good contact over here with the wire nut. And as well, we're gonna tighten them up real good. If you cannot go no more with your fingers, just try to use the strippers, you know, in order to tighten them up a little bit more. As well, uh, after you tighten up the, uh, the wire nut, make sure, you know, pull those wires, make sure they are doing a good contact. Over here, we're gonna be using the crimper that is on this uh, uh, stripper and make sure the press real good, you know, with, this, uh, with these strippers and as well, pull them out, make sure they are doing good contact. And over here, guys, uh, may, this is kinda, the wire is a little bit big for the uh, little hole of the receptacle. So as you guys can see over here, I was trying to turn the uh, receptacle in order to get it in. That way we're not gonna leave any type of uh, little hairs outside of the uh, of the receptacle and as well tighten them up real good same thing over here with the uh the uh black wire which is our hat the other one was the neutral and like i mentioned guys uh, make sure you are connecting the hat uh the black wire into the gold uh gold um, screw over here the two uh, little pigtails that we cut you know from the same extension cord we're gonna use them for the other receptacle and as you guys can see over here there's some type of close-up where I was showing you guys how uh, to twist you know the, the wire in order to get all the hairs inside of the receptacle Same thing with the with the uh, neutral. And over here we're gonna cut a little bit because it was a little bit of uh, 
it was too big so we're gonna do the same process over and over guys so uh ju we just gotta make sure like i like i say we just gotta make sure we are connecting the wires on the right on the right spot We're going to apply a little bit of uh, Super 33. This is uh, electrical tape uh, to make sure, you know, the we're not going to get any type of contact with the uh, metal box. Uh, normally you don't get that, but I just like to put a little bit of uh, a tape just in case, you know, a little bit, uh, maybe the hairs, they're going to come out or whatever, you know, but I'm pretty sure they was on the right place and no hairs outside of the uh, receptacle. This little uh, Mickey Mouse uh, ears, we're going to cut them out because uh, we don't need them. These ones are more for level the receptacle whenever we put them on a wall or something like that. We're gonna remove this screw since we don't need them right now. And with the center, uh, this screw that goes in the center, we're gonna attach the receptacle into this cover. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other one. Now you guys remember these uh, little pieces of metal that came on the middle? These ones are pretty much to put the other screws into it. They are kind of like a nut in order to, uh, uh, you know, put all the screws into the uh, into this receptacle to make sure, you know, they are they are uh, strong whenever we are plugging in the uh, the cores. Over here, guys, as you guys can see, I get tired of uh, twisting this uh, or using the screwdriver. So I, I grab my little impact. Uh, this is a Milwaukee impact that I really like. Um, it's a M12, the, uh, the impact, and it's very, very nice to have one, one of these ones. Over here, as you guys can see, I'm taking apart this, uh, the, the male plug and it's the same thing guys uh, as you guys see right there it was uh, a gold silver and a green screw we're gonna make sure that we're not gonna uh, we're gonna strip this on this end a little less uh, than on the other end because this all you need is like a inch and a half maybe in order to do this and Sorry over here guys, but the angle was bad. I hit the camera with my head, so, and the angle was pretty bad. So, as you guys can see, but it's the same thing. Uh, make sure that goes straight to that little thing right there. Push it all the way in and put the screws where they go. It's pretty simple guys. Um, is nothing um nothing uh too uh it's not crazy it's it's good it's just you just follow i will say maybe this video or any other video and uh you guys will be able to do it guys with no problem all right guys so that is it on this video and as always guys if you guys like this video uh, please give us a thumbs up, share with others who might enjoy this type of videos and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That way you guys will get notifications each time we drop a video. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys on the next, on the next one. Bye.